Y'all, today I'm going to demo a quick and easy way to make your own chipboard stickers. Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. That's right, we are making our own stickers today and we will not be using a cutting machine. Y'all, welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by and welcome to all of my new friends and to all of my new subscribers. Welcome back to all of my longtime friends and longtime subscribers. Thank you all so much for the many positive ways that you have been supporting me on this channel. I really do appreciate it. Today, I'm going to share with you a really quick, really easy, and super fun way to make your own stickers without using any type of a cutting machine. I'm going to flip to my overhead camera because y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. Y'all, I have really zoomed in so that you can get a close-up look at some of the chipboard stickers that I have already made. Now, these are very, very durable. And you can see that they're not flimsy at all. There is sticker paper on the back. And I printed the images on sticker paper. So I'm going to show you this little cheater method to help you make your own chipboard stickers. So it's going to be very quick. And for mine, I'm using this Koala inkjet sticker paper. It's eight and a half by 11. You get 50 sheets and it's glossy. And it says that it's fast drying and durable. Y'all, I found it to be an immediate dry. I thought I might have to blow some heat on it, but when it came out of my printer, it was already dry. So here is my secret to making my style of chipboard stickers. So whenever we buy a paper pad, there's always a front page and a backer page. And those are generally pretty sturdy pages. And that's exactly what I've done here. I have taken the back page of an old paper pad and that's what we'll be using here. Then of course, I'm going to be using some of the Koala inkjet vinyl sticker paper. That is my sticker paper of choice when I'm printing stickers like this. And then I have a sheet of double-sided adhesive paper, eight and a half by 11. You guys have seen me use this paper on the channel before. I will have this along with the Koala sticker paper listed in the description box below. But here's my little technique for how I do it. I'm going to peel away one side of the double-sided sticker sheet or adhesive sheet, and I'm just going to place it down right here, very close to the edge of my paper here. And you might have some air bubbles, so let's just go in and smooth out those air bubbles. Now, this is a double-sided adhesive sheet, so if I peel this away, there is sticky underneath. We're not going to remove that because we're going to need it so that we can have sticky on the back of our stickers. So now on to step two of the process. I've added some images to an eight and a half by 11 inch piece. This is actually what I'm going to be printing on the Koala sticker paper. So all I'm going to do is go over here and tell my printer to print this. Now, if you want to download these images, they're going to be available on my site for the next 24 hours. So today is April 11th. Tomorrow, April 12th at 4 p.m. Eastern time, I'm going to be removing these from my site. So if you want to get them, Go ahead and head on out there and grab those freebies. And I've already set my printer to print on glossy paper because that's what this Koala sticker paper is. So I'm just going to tell it to print. And so now my printer is going to start printing the sticker paper. And so now I have my sticker sheet. I'm just going to flip this over because I'm going to peel away the backer sheet. Then I'm going to look at where I have this positioned. I'm just going to take this and place it down like this. Again, I'm going to use my big old spatula to go in and get those air bubbles out. And 
And so now you can see I have the sticker paper on the back and I have my stickers here on the front. I am just going to go in and cut out an image to show you guys just how easy this is. Now I'm cutting mine out by hand and I'm just going around and giving myself a little bit of a border, not a whole lot of white space, but just a little bit. If your chipboard isn't too thick, which this one isn't, I can probably use my punch to punch out. You don't want to hand cut these. You might want to use a punch. But I find hand cutting like this to be a little bit relaxing. And you see that's not taking me long at all. So now I can go through and I can cut out all of these images all at once or I can cut them out as I need them. So then I'm just going to take my finger blade and just cut the back very lightly. Because now I can go in and just grab the back and there's my sticky. So I can take this and we can stick it right there or anywhere you want to add it to your projects. So you can see that we have this beautiful little birdhouse right here. That's how easy it is, y'all, to make your own chipboard-like stickers. You don't even have to add a chipboard backer to these. If you want, you can just print this page and cut straight from here and lay the sticker down flat on the eight and a half by 11 koala paper that it will print on. But it is completely up to you. Just go ahead and grab yourself some images lay them out on a page, and then just cut them out after you have printed them using the method that I have shown here. So it's completely up to you how you want to make your own chipboard stickers or flat stickers. Right here I have another sweet little sticker that has the backer on the back. Y'all, it's ready to go on any project that I choose to make. So if you want these images, head on out to my website, grab them. It'll be a free download until Friday, April 12th at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. So if you want these, make sure you head on out there and you grab them before they are gone. So I hope that you have enjoyed this fun, quick, and easy way to make your own chipboard stickers using a sticker paper. And then you do need a way to add adhesive to the back of that chipboard. You can do it with tape. You can do it with spray or you can do it as I did it here, using double-sided adhesive sheets. It's completely up to you, but it is a workable technique. Again, I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you have, please hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, and be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.